Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com with a short tutorial showing you exactly how to conduct an interview with somebody in a studio multiple miles away and make it sound like you're in the same room. I've had many questions on this topic, including most recently a comment from Mark Kerridge and also Howard Ellison. So here I'm going to show you how to do it. On the screen here in Adobe Audition, you'll see that I currently have the recording from the USA studio. That's my interviewee. Now, the important thing here is that I ask them just to record their side of the conversation. When I switch to the UK studio, which is my studio, you'll see that I've recorded both my side, that's the left-hand side, and also the Skype conversation, which is the low-quality recording of the interview on the right-hand side. To set up Adobe Audition so that you can do this, just head to Preferences, that's Command, Comma on the Mac, and Audio Channel Mapping. Then you change your left to be your microphone input, in my case it's the Sapphire Input 1, and your right to be a recording of what you hear on the computer itself, which in my case is the Sapphire Loop 1. Now, if you're looking for an audio interface that enables you to do this, I'll review my audio interface. It's the Sapphire Pro 14 coming soon on this channel. Once you've selected those inputs, you're ready to go, so click OK, and that is the recording you'll end up with, you on the left and your interviewee on the right. Now, to make it sound like you're in the same room, head over to Multitrack, Drag in the waves of both the UK studio and the USA studio, and you'll see they're pretty much aligned already. But when I start to play it back, you'll probably hear a bit of echo. Uvula, all about. <laughs> <laughs> Uvula. Well, there are... So we can probably do a little bit better than that. The way you align the interview exactly is to zoom right in, as I'm doing here, and then right there to the start of the interviewee's answer. And you'll see that the waves are just slightly off. So in order to align them, just move the top wave across like so, so that it's pretty much lined up with the bottom wave. Now have a listen, and you'll probably hear a bit of a phasing sound now, which means we're pretty much exactly in sync. All about. <laughs> Uvula. So there you go. It's exactly in line. But now, how do we balance it out so it sounds perfect? Well, head back to your original recording. This is my UK studio recording. Zoom right out. And then you want to mono out the right channel, which is your interviewee, Copy the whole of your left channel, and then head over to your right channel, mono out the left channel, delete, and paste, so it's just you, and then of course go back to full stereo, back to the multi-track, and when you play back the interview, you'll notice now that it's me and the interviewee together. A channel such as the Voice of America or the BBC or something mm. uh, of that nature. Tell the listener a little bit more about your... Now, there is one last thing you can do to make this absolutely perfect, and that's to edit out the dead space in the interviewee's copy. This is because sometimes when you're recording on Skype, you get a little bit of echo or feedback. So just delete it and then add this little fade on the end and at the start of the next answer to your question. That way you'll have a brilliant interview with superior sound quality. A channel such as The Voice of America or the BBC or something mm -hmm. uh, of that nature. Tell the listener a little bit more about your character voiceovers when we first started working together there you go that's exactly how you record an interview multiple miles apart and make it sound like you're in the same studio i hope this has been of help to you i'm mike russell from musicradiocreative.com and remember to head to musicradiocreative.com slash podcast to listen to this interview in full